Hello, and welcome to Mark's Excel Tips. In today's video, we are going to show you how to enable macros in Excel 365. Let's get started. There are many videos out there on how to enable macros, but few of them that I could find tell you about the dangers of doing so. Macros can be used by some people with malicious intentions to install a virus on your computer, or the computer system of your employer. So, if you are using a macro from someone else, make sure that it's from a trusted source. Microsoft has disabled by default VBA macros on all new versions of Excel for this reason. Now, if you are looking to create and run simple macros, you don't need to enable macros. All you need, is to have the developer tab installed on your ribbon. If you don't see the developer tab, I have provided a link in the video description below, on how to add the developer tab. When you click on the developer tab, you will see the code box where you can record and run macros. You will still need to enable VBA macros if you want to create and run VBA macros. To enable VBA macros, click on File. Next, click on Options. In the window that opens, click on Trust Center. Then click on Trust Center Settings. In the next window that opens, click on Macro Settings. By default, Microsoft has disabled VBA macros with notification. Next, click on the radio button next to enable VBA macros. You will notice that there is a notice that says, Not recommended, potentially dangerous code can run. So make sure that any VBA macros that you run, are from a trusted source. Click OK. Click OK again. That's it for today's how to video. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.